hi everybody so I'm going to try and uh, put together a layout because inspiration has hit me and so I just have to go with it um, I'm going to be using this is the inspiration for this page the uh, family tree rub-ons from the robin's nest and here I have a photo of my dad and my brother and me and we were in Oh, I have no idea. Somewhere where those big trees are in the States. Not Yellowknife. I think it was in California, Northern Cal Redwood Forest maybe or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, earlier today I cut some transparencies. Uh, and these were just scraps sitting on my desk. Um, and I really liked them. I just really like where I could go with them. So... I am going to try and just before your eyes put together a layout. And so, let's get started. So I have all these beautiful papers from the Robin's Nest, from the Regency Collection. I love that. Definitely going to do something with that, so let's do it. I haven't really planned anything out, um, so it's just going to be kind of wherever my little heart takes me to be honest with you. I think I might like to I truly truly adore this picture. I just one of the things about my family were our camping adventures and we did do a lot of them and so this has always been a fond memory of mine. Anyway, I want some, I just want some little flowers or something to, to stick out from, from the uh, forest floor. So I think I'm going to take this here and that out and use that. Well, that's one I'm going to use right there. I'm probably going to have that stick up here somewhere. This tree is definitely going to go over here. Well, that's going to look nice there actually. Well, there's lots here I can do with this. so. I'm just going to start creating. I don't have a plan. I never do. I kind of like the, the free form ability of it all. So, I'm going to. I love these papers. I love all the glitter. I've been wearing glitter for like two months straight now <laughs> since I got on with the Robin's Nest design team. I pretty much walk around with glitter now. I like that. Okay, I just want to start putting this down. I don't have, um, well, really have a way to put this down. I think I'm just gonna go crazy here. Mm-hmm. 
stick these on here, there, and everywhere. want it to mimic hills. There. Okay. Now, this I want to give it a little bit of an edge. I'm going to do a little brown edge on it. taking some chalk and I'm just going in and oops. All right. Put that there. I'm going to get my tape out. photo thing up here. Hmm. It's going to go right there. It says family is a sheltering tree. Oh, let's see. Wow, look at how beautiful and easy that came off. Excellent. Really smooth on that paper. All right. And then I want a picture of this tree. See it lifting now, the transparency, rub on. And I really don't want to lift it until Every last little piece is rubbed off. And that looks like it's got it now. Yep. Wow. It's lovely. Let's 
see what we can do with this particular flourish. I'm actually thinking I'm going to like this flourish a lot better. I um, love the glitter and the beige. Especially for these older photos, it sort of lends themselves well to the older style. A little bit more vintagey, I guess you would say. So cool when you can see it on the camera. It um, it really helps you see where you want to place things. <laughs> huh. I really like that there. So far, I like that, and I want to put definitely want to put a journal card on there. So I also got this from Robin's Nest, and so I'm gonna cut this. I would say this is circa, hmm, I'd say it's circa 75, 76, 1975, 76, looks like I might have been about 10 or 11 years old at this. We went on a lot, a lot of family trips, and so, um, This is a little, just a little too bright for me. I want that to be a little darker. And so, I've got a, a gold chalk here. And actually, I think it's completely dried out. That's not good. And I do need to get some new chalks, that's for sure. Let's see. Oh, this one's pretty too. Okay, this is nice. This is sort of a, um, yeah, uh, creamy. This is 
just want to All right, now it's not going to stay like that because I'm going to be applying a brown and I want to wipe some of that off. I kind of want to give it a brushed feel. has a little sheen on it now actually. I like that. And I'm just going to go in with a darker color and the edges. One thing that's um, very obvious to me on this page is that this is green and this almost picks up a hint of green on this side with this, the, the dark contrast. And I just want to, um, I want to pick up a green too on that. Not too bright, not too dark. This is the, like an olive, olive green. Ah, uh, yeah, that's it. That's what I'm looking for. You can see the difference here right away. And I want to give this sort of a, an aged look. So I'm just going around the edges and there we go. Very nice. That's what I want. You see how it picks up the tone of the, the, the rest of the paper? Very nice. Of course, I'm going to have to journal on here yet. Just try something. Oh yeah, I think I will. I think I'm going to move this up over here. That's where I want that. This might be too dark for this page. <clears throat> I like it, but it just might not work for it. So. I'm just going to set that aside. Sometimes I cut pieces, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, so that's okay. Now, what I really want over in this corner is a giant... Hi everybody! So where we left off was, I was looking for a giant letter <laughs> and I found it. Um, F for family. This is a Tim Holtz grunge board letter and I chalked it and I just put I just spread some glitter ink all on it and you can see I added the some journaling and the only other thing I wanted to add was this beautiful love and it's gonna go right there and I'm just going to apply it with some 
glue. And just give me a minute here to unstick my glue. So I'm just putting some adhesive on the back of it here. All right, and I want to put that right here. All right, so using the February collection, which is the Regency collection, I've added some of the rub-ons, which are beautiful. A nice journaling strip and I use some of the fantastic papers from this collection I do have some more projects lined up to share with you I hope you will check the chattering Robins blog spot often and remember 20% off Regency products for the month of February so you still have lots of time I hope you like it thanks for watching